Lads and lasses, I'm a little bit intimidated, not gonna lie. I don't even, like, you tell me, you tell me. Please don't jump out on me. Ugh. Hello there, Shy Guy Travel. Today we're taking a trip to the supermarket. I've decided to try and start cooking, finally. But what I'm doing right now is I'm going to get some staples, the staples of Chinese cooking. So I'll be getting like an oyster sauce, rice wine, and I need some equipment as well. So I need a wok. What else do I need? I need a chopping board as well. Please drop a like on this video. And remember to subscribe to see more videos. A window into life in China from the point of view of a silly foreigner. So, here we are. Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty well stocked. You can get most things you want. So you know, you have stationery and kids' toys and other sort of practical things. Stuff for school, bags, and then they have like home equipment here, pots and pans, kitchen equipment. And that's where I'm going first. I don't want to squash my tomatoes with my big wok. I see the stuff. I do want to get one of these bad boys at some point. They're pretty, they're pretty hefty. A rice cooker as well, but reports are they're pretty expensive. Let's take a look. Look at that one, that's an absolute unit. Um, 195, which is about 20 pounds or 25 dollars. Okay, this is something eventually, eventually, I'll get bits and bobs. You can't buy everything at once, otherwise, you just bankrupt yourself. So, this week, I'm just going to be making to start off with the scrambled eggs and tomato breakfast that. Um, a lot of Chinese people eat and you know these woks will be fine oh these are this is fantastic um, I don't know where to start I want one with a lid so this is the most expensive one and it's still only like 10 pounds so I might just get it it's nice and light looks pretty good Fit deep enough what do you think done and the lid is perfect let's look at my list here we have Rice cooker question mark. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip that one for now. Wok and lid, done. Measuring spoons. These will do. I don't, I don't see like a set. Chopping board. Ah, oh, that's nice. Got a light and then we got this darker one. That's very nice, that's very nice. 149, about 17 pounds. And this one here is about nine pounds. And I went for the more expensive one. It's still not too bad and it's a bit longer as well. Kitchen paper, bamboo brush, and a wok rack. Little egg frying pan. I've always wanted one of these, so I'm doing it. 35p. What do Chinese people use to clean their kitchens? I might have to make do with wipes. Mm. All right, anyway, on to the food now, and we go, go to the uh, fresh fruit and veg section. So what we got here? Tomatoes, eggs, garlic, bok choy, ginger, uh, chilies, salt and pepper, should be fairly simple. Lads and lasses, I'm a little bit intimidated, not gonna lie. 698 UN per gin. And then we put them in these bags and then we go chat to the lady over there and she gives us the price. Panda be dozy. But look. I don't even like. You tell me. You tell me. What is it? Ooh, it's gooey. 
egg tarts, donuts, cream rolls. Is that uh, meat floss stuff? Please don't jump out on me. Ugh. So now sauces and stuff, but this might become difficult because the cart is getting heavy. Oyster sauce. Now this is the guy Ken Hom said I should get. So I'm doing it. So the light is better for cooking, but the dark is better for dipping sauce. I'm gonna go for light. That's proper sugar that is. Spices and stuff, and what is, this is like condiments. This is where I'm getting a little bit out of my depth. Oh look that blueberry jam. Heaven be. Steamed dumplings. Oh, it's the filling for steamed dumplings, okay. Where else are you gonna go in the world for a nice disc of seaweed? Chinese supermarkets are certainly feasts for the senses and they can be a bit mystifying when you first go in, but they do kind of make sense after you figure out the different manners of packaging and the different names for things. And they have an extraordinary set of snacks in the most unusual flavors that you would not expect. It's kind of just fun to walk around, to be honest. Yes, I found pepper. Is that pepper? Du -du 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 this is all alcohol. Rice wine, Huangzhou, millet wine, Baijiu, and uh, I don't even know. Maybe I should get this one in the plastic bottle. It's uh, this very industrial looking thing. This guy approves. It's just like a jerry can, isn't it? This is more like it. Cool packaging, but it tastes like uh, Sambuca. Bye, Joel. And then you got the uh, ap peach apricot flavor. And this is the selection of beers, and it's not brilliant. I mean, you know, at least you've heard of Heineken. Because, you know, you need some just for the house. And, you know, this, this, they have, like, these German craft things, like, randomly. They don't have anything like Budweiser in here, but they do have Dachinbacher, black, black beer. And they got these things called Rios, Rio cocktails, which I guess is the closest thing you can get to a Bacardi Breezer. So this one, just I pick randomly. This is the Moss beer. Let's see if I can find the percentage on here. Two point five percent. There's some that are lower than two percent. Sing Tao, which is actually not one of the not one of the worst ones. That's like, you know, every you know every country has like their bog standard lager. Then this is this is China's bog standard lager, Sing Tao, and it's actually it's not too bad. It's not too bad. What's that CCP approved stout beer? Maybe I'm mad enough to try it. It could be utterly awful though. Green plum wine. This is the wine selection. Uh, Great Wall is like the China's mainstream brand of red wine. But they do have, you know, they have stuff you've heard of. Jacob's Creek. So this is me. That'll do me for now. Otherwise I just simply will not be able to carry it home. That's another trip to the supermarket. It's definitely more fun than it is at home, for sure. Always seeing something new. Something new to explore, discover, something surprising. And there's the lovely ladies, all waiting for me to pay. Okay, the one closest to the door, I think. Oh, yeah. oh.